born in wealth and brought up in wealth, the youngest Prati Kundave Devi. She resembles Rathi in beauty, Kalema in knowledge and Thiruma in fortune. From the Sundara Chola emperor to the common citizens of the Chola country, she was adored. In the palace, many people were waiting for her to do with her head what her feet had done. The princes longed that the princesses who came into their clan would not get the privilege of being the mates of Kundave Devi. The royal sons of many who became emperors in India at that time were penitent for the privilege of holding the hand of the younger Prati Kundave. The youngest Brady, who had been blessed with all such blessings, was drowning in an immense sea of sorrow. All the warnings she sent to Aditha Kari Kalan went in vain. She had sent him an urgent message not to go to the Sambhavariyar mansion. Aramit Tamayan, who always valued her word, dismissed the word and went to the Kadampur palace. There he mysteriously died prematurely. She believed that Nandini was Karakalan's and Aralmazai's sister. She also knew that Nandini was cheating on him for some reason. If Karakalan had to die at the hands of Nandini, there is no dishonor and blame for the Chola clan. It is not known what happened to Nandini after Karakalan's death. The loss of Aramit Tamayan caused her infinite grief. Even two days after his death, she melted thinking of the hero's weed that lived on his face. Aha! What was that Mahavira dreaming? Was Karakal saying that he was going to conquer the Himalayas and plant the tiger flag on the peak of Amamala like Puruvalathan? Such a man's marriage was burnt to ashes in half a century. In the Chola country it is mixed with soil. Thousands of warriors will emerge from such mixed soil in the future. They will go in all four directions from the Chola country. They will cross the sea and go to distant lands. They fought heroic wars and expanded the boundaries of the Chola Empire. Temples with sky-high towers will be erected everywhere. They will stand majestically, carrying the pride of the Chola country to the world. They spread Tamil and Tamil arts and Saiva Vaishnava religions. The psalms of the three Devars and the hymns of the Alvars will resound across the seas. Victory Valor you will hear the shouts of victory. All this is not just a dream. What can happen? If everything that elders, soothsayers, and experienced mothers have said about the special time of Aralmas Hivarman's birth is true, then all the dreams of Kari Kalan will be remembered through Aralmas Hivarman. But how many passages stand in the way? Aha! It is not known what mischief these princes will cause by quarreling among themselves. Malay Aman and Velan are adamant that Aralmas Hivarman will be crowned. The reapers and their friends are gathering forces for Madhurandha. The emperor is plunged into a sea of sadness due to two major accidents that happened in succession. He refuses to talk to anyone about anything. He is empathizing with thinking about the sin he committed in his youth. No one dares to even speak to him. If she, his rich daughter, is afraid to approach him, I will ask about others. Aromas Hivarman is willing to sacrifice the kingdom. He wants to cross the sea with the Chola forces and do Digvahia with the title tied to Madhurandha. But it has also hit an unexpected snag. For some reason, Sembian Mathavi, an old brat who adores the Chola nation, objects to his son being crowned. She says it was her late husband's order. It is not known how all these problems will be resolved. Kundave felt that all the worries about the Chola clan and the Chola empire were not enough. A warrior of the Vinar clan, who is attracted to her, is kept in an underground prison. They try to make him responsible for the death of Aditha Kari Kalan. Parthipendra of the Pallava clan is adamant about this. Patanar Malay Aman will probably listen if he says so. But how can a woman intervene in the case of a suspect? If Vandiyadeva who came as a passerby, had more admiration for him than his Tamayan Aditya Kari Kalan, what else is more abhorrent than that? Parthibendra can spread such slander at will. At the place where Kari Kalan lay murdered, Vandiyadeva was cremated. Parthipendran says that Kanamaran also liked it, which may be true. But Vandiyathevar must have fulfilled his promise not to leave Kari Kalan for even a minute. Aditha must have tried to save Kari Kalan from the murderers and failed miserably. But how to know the truth about this? 
even if you try to go and see Vandiyathevar and bring him here from prison, it will give room for suspicions and words of blame. No one dares to say anything about himself. That being said, it doesn't matter. But some miscreants are trying to blame Arul Hivarman for Karakalan's death. Shouldn't their party be affected by doing something in haste? God! Goddess! Jiganmata! What kind of test have you given me who lived without a worry since birth? Kundave's heart was getting hurt more and more. Ever since the news of Karakalan's death and Vandiyathevar's involvement came, the younger bratty could not sleep a moment at night. She was thinking and thinking and thinking of many ways and rejecting each one to find a way to solve this complicated situation. She refused to open her heart even to her dear friend Vanathi. Vanathi also sensed her state of mind and did not speak or hear anything. She remained mostly a shadow beside Kundave and remained as silent as that shadow. Vanati, who had been careful not to interfere with Kundave's thoughts, suddenly approached the younger Prati and said, Sister! Sister! A woman has come to see them. She is standing with tears and a blanket. It is a pity to see. When he said that, Kuntava was a little surprised. Who is she? Didn't you ask what the matter was? She said. I heard, sister. If you tell them that, they will get angry or something. It's Sambuvarayar's daughter Manamekalai. They keep the Sambuvarayar family imprisoned in the small Palyavatarayar mansion. She has been running around asking for directions without anyone knowing. If they ask what's going on, she says she will tell them in person. You can see her tear-stained face. Your mind will change immediately. Vanatha said. So, you mean my mind is stone? Kuntave said angrily. They are truly heartless. Sister. If not, would you leave Vandiyathevar in the dungeon and be idle? Vanatha said. Okay, okay, tell that girl to come here. Said Kuntave. Vanati jumped like a deer and brought Manamegali the next moment. 